What is going on, guys, and welcome back to Touchdowns to Home Runs. My name is Bernie. Thank you for joining us today on the Touchdowns to Home Runs show. Hope that your day is going absolutely fantastic. Today, we're going to be taking a look at and breaking down the Michigan quarterback situation for next year and next season. Now, I did make a video pretty similar to this a few weeks ago, but earlier today, we just got news that Joe Milton, Michigan's quarterback for the first half of last season, has entered the transfer portal and will not be returning to the University of Michigan next year. Now, I think when you look at the situation, as a whole it's a pretty you know smart move that Joe Milton really had to make I think when you look at the depth chart and the lack of success that Milton and this offense had last year um, Joe Milton was not going to be the starting quarterback again this year it was going to be um, Kate McNamara JJ McCarthy in some order as the starter and the backup quarterback and I think Joe Milton at this point in his career you know has to go somewhere where he can be the starter develop the raw talent that he does have um, and find a way you know just to put up the successful stats that I think Joe Milton is eventually going to be capable of. I think when you look at it in the perspective of, of a Michigan fan, it's pretty unfortunate, not the fact that Joe Milton transferred, but it's sort of a situation of what could have been. When you look at Joe Milton, even though he does have a lack of sort of productions in terms of his stats, at the end of the day, Joe Milton is a very talented quarterback in terms of the raw talent that he does have and the potential that he could work his way up towards. He's a mobile quarterback, can get out of the pocket, moves his feet, and has a very strong arm. You know, I've spoken to it. Joe Milton is a guy who can throw the ball down the field 70 plus yards, and he does it with ease. He's a very strong guy. He's got a big frame at quarterback. And again, we saw what he could do in that Minnesota game at the beginning of the season, right? And even though Minnesota didn't have a great year last year, I think any time that you can really just dissect an offense like they did in week one of last season, I mean, you know, Michigan fans really did have high hopes. Now, I know that raw talent does not correlate to having stats on the football field, especially at the collegiate level. And I know that Joe Milton dealt with, you know, inaccuracy issues at the high school level as well. But again, a situation of just what could have been. Um, and I think, you know, part of that is on Joe Milton. I think part of that is also on the coaching staff of Michigan. Um, you know, we look back at some of the quarterbacks that Michigan has had in the past few years with Shea Patterson being the other one. When we look at Shea Patterson and what he could do on the football field, Shea Patterson is a guy who could also move his feet, had a pretty good arm, you know, really was NFL talent and was a decently high draft pick until his last year. Um, I think Michigan, you know, I've sort of spoken to it during the season and Harbaugh and this coaching staff's lack of ability to get quarterbacks, especially from here to here, but really, you know, overall. There's a lack of ability that we have, and you can see it because we have a lack of real talent in the NFL that's come from Michigan. And again, not all of that is on the Michigan coaching staff, but I think, you know, Joe Milton is just another situation where you look at them and say, well, this was a very talented quarterback, and we just failed to get him from here to here. Um, so now, you know, it, it's down to probably McNamara, J.J. McCarthy. Um, you look at Cade McNamara, had a much better you know, easier time last year running the offense in terms of being more in sync with his receivers. Um, Kate McNamara does a lot of stuff really good. I think, you know, he throws short balls very well. His accuracy is a lot better than Joe Milton's. You know, he threw five touchdowns last year, no interceptions. So, you know, even though he's not going to bomb the ball down the field like Joe Milton was capable of, um, he's a guy who's going to keep the ball in the offense's hands. In worst case scenario, you're going to punt because he's not a guy who's really going to turn the ball over that much. Um, that being said, I think, you know, what we sort of lacked with Kate McNamara in the back part of the season was the inability to throw the ball down the field. You know, I thought that even though our offense was lacking for the majority of the season, we went away from what I really wasn't liking in past seasons, which is always doing like run, run, pass, right? We didn't necessarily have that predictable of an offense, um, but in the later part of the season, we definitely did. Um, Kate McNamara does end up being the starter um, to start next season. I would like to see them you know, use some of that more speed downfield. Um, I didn't think that our wide receiving core was that bad last year. So I would like to see, throw some more balls downfield. Um, and again, if you look at our recruiting class that Michigan is bringing in, you know, it's, it's not the top recruiting class in the country, but we do have quite a few top 100 recruits and top, you know, four stars, even some good three stars, some good transfers as well. A um, majority of those are offensive talented players. You know, we went a lot more offensive than we did defense, which, you know, could present an issue because I think we have a lot of problems defensively. Um, but I think Cade McNamara, J.J. McCarthy should have more than enough talent coming in. And I think, again, this program has to be trending 
sort of in the direction where we're competitive this year and we're going to be competitive, uh, more competitive than we have been in the next few years than in comparison to where we have been in the past few years. Um, in terms of J.J. McCarthy, I don't know if Michigan wants to go with the more riskier route and start, you know, freshman quarterback at starting quarterback next year. Um, but J.J. McCarthy, I think, in my opinion, is more than capable of doing so. He's a five-star uh, recruit according to 24-7 Sports, um, you know, and he's a guy who's coming from IMG Academy. I don't know how many of you guys follow the high school um, football scene and high school football recruiting, but IMG Academy, essentially the best high school program for football in the entire country. And, you know, J.J. McCarthy, although that team was very talented, you know, being the quarterback, one of those people that um, really helped IMG get to the championship. So J.J. McCarthy is a winning quarterback. He's a guy who's got, you know, a decent arm. He doesn't have the same size and frame that Joe Milton has, but he's still six foot three, so he's still, you know, got some size to him. Very accurate passer, though. Extremely, extremely accurate. Can find those, you know, close windows. Throws the ball really accurately. Not necessarily a mobile quarterback in terms of, you know, speed and his ability to scramble. But he does have the ability to get out of the pocket. And he's very good and accurate throwing on the run. Um, so, again, I think it comes down to does Michigan want to go the more veteran route? Or does Michigan want to, you know, take the shot for J.J. McCarthy? Because you know probably at some point this season... And at least next season, J.J. McCarthy is quarterback one for the University of Michigan. Um, quickly, before we end this video, just want to touch on Dan Villari. Now, Dan Villari got the size at six foot four. He's a guy, three-star recruit from last year. We don't know much about him. Um, I know that his arm is fairly decent. Um, he doesn't really have weaknesses. He's pretty good at, at everything. You know, he's an average quarterback overall. Um, I don't expect him to be the starter or the backup, but something worth noting again, Dan Villari was slotted to be the starter for the Ohio State game last year with McNamara Hurt, right? So if we go back to the Joe Milton situation, um, you know, who knows if the coaching staff even had Dan Villari in that three spot over Joe Milton, um, which was sort of touching on before, um, but again... Joe Milton probably factored all of these things in. In terms of overall starting quarterback and who I'd go, I mean, I touched on this in the past video that I made. It really comes down to if Michigan wants to go risky or not. J.J. McCarthy, in my opinion, is a lot more talented on paper than Cade McNamara, but Cade McNamara has, you know, more experience with the offense. He's got more experience overall at the collegiate level. So, you know, my thinking is maybe go the safer route because Jim Harbaugh really doesn't, you know, can't really afford to have a really disappointing season this year and you give J.J. McCarthy some reps in practice, let him sort of ease into it so he's the starting quarterback somewhere in the middle of the season. Um, so I, again, I think it's going to come back to just what the coaching staff sees um, when they see both of these guys throw in practices for the first time. Um, I would like to see J.J. McCarthy. I think it'll end up being McNamara again to uh, at least start the season. But anyways, guys, if you did make it to this point in the video, let me know your thoughts on Michigan's quarterback situation down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of Joe Milton and him entering the transfer portal again in the comment section. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs for more content just like this. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again next time.